Hey guys, um, welcome to um, about um, our meetup presentation about one of the most requested um, feature of the Dart language. Um, today I want to talk about um, extension functions. Um, let's start with the basics. Maybe you are not so familiar with extension functions. Um, an extension function is something you can add additional um, functionality to existing classes. That could be um, a string, an enum, an existing library class, framework classes, your classes, whatever, um, and you don't have to um, inherit from them, you can easily write extension functions, getter, setter, whatever, we will talk to that um, now. Um, fortunately, there is an open GitHub issue um, before, uh, created on the 11th October 2018, and there are so many commands and ideas and whatever proposals and um, fortunately it's already closed so it's yeah we are using extension functions right now um, it's in the dart version 2.6.0 already added but only as experimental feature so you have to go in your <coughs> analysis options and yeah enable them because they are not completely stable um, but on Dart 2.7, they are completely stable. You can use it, um, and we will look for the syntax right now. You can see on the left side there is a um, basic extension syntax. You have the extension on keyword. Um, you write extension on, then your type. So, for example, bool, string, whatever and you have your um, function itself and you get the receiver as this so if you define it on a string and you call on a string for example like that is empty or blank you get the string before the dot as this um, if you want your extension functions as public extension function so you can access it on another class or file whatever you have to give them a name I think it's a good practice to um, prefix this with extension, so string extension, <laughs> suffix it with extension, so for example string extension, pool extension, future extension, whatever, and yeah. In Dart you can create getter, you can also get uh, create setter method, and the cool thing is you can also create um, operator. Um, it could be weird, but there are some things It could be very cool. Um, for example, we have a, in my team, we have a project and we are using, for example, this extension <coughs> operation with the plus for observables, so the stream API from Dart. Um, it could be useful. Um, after a few slides, I will go into the IDE and show you some other useful examples, but yeah, we are using operator. It could be great. Um, let's go into the <coughs> IDE. <coughs> so, the first thing is, as we already said, uh, we can we can create our extension function. This one is a private extension function. We can test it if we go to our main and we try to access it. You cannot find it, so we have to give a name. String extension, and we see, okay, it's public, we can use it. Um, yeah. Ah, I forgot <coughs> one thing. Um, if, you want, if you are using Dart 2.6 and you want to use extension function, there is some <coughs> analysis options. You go into that, and there is the enable experimental um, extension methods. But maybe it would be great to update your project to Dart 2.7 so it's stable and not an um, experimental feature, or what, whatever. Um, yeah. The next thing is, um, as I already told you, you can write um, methods and you get your receiver. This is also an extension that I'm using in one of our projects. Um, 
there are so many times you are using or you are writing um, if this is string is null or empty and yeah it's useful you can also create getter and the cool thing is in your getter you can also access the other functions getter setter whatever and i think it's a i think it's really nice <coughs> um, for example to have some functions extension functions on a string like is valid email it's yeah it's super clean if you are, have an email and you can write is valid email and you can do whatever you want <coughs> um, the other thing is you can also um, define an extension function on a dot enum so dot enums are a bit uh, I don't know not the best thing because they cannot have any value strings or uh, ints whatever you only can to give them a name and that's that's everything um, but you can now add um, extension methods for example for translations or whatever or I don't know value you can have your switch case and you can add additional stuff to Dart enums and make them more powerful. You can also create extension functions on generic or with generic types, for example, for the future. There is, um, yeah, there is the generic type. You can, you need to write them before uh, after the name of the extension. If you want to hard code them to a special thing, you can also make it like that so it's only for future string and you can you can do whatever you want um, the next thing is you can access only private and public properties on your extension there is an extension and you can access the protected and also the public member you cannot access the private one because of course if they are private they, there, there is a reason why they are private and if you you could you could um, you could create a getter, <coughs> but fortunately it's not working because there is a reason why. It, what? <laughs> <laughs> this this should not work. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this should normally not work. <laughs> okay, For, forget it. <laughs> it's not working. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. The next thing is, as I already told you, um, it's cool to have the operator because if you are using so much Rx start and for example you have, I don't know, loading or whatever, you, can, you could combine them, concatenate them with, um, with the <coughs> operator, but please don't make or please don't create weird extensions for the uh, operator because you also could create, I don't know, for example like that and you do crazy stuff in there, I don't know, please don't do it. It's completely weird and you cannot, you don't understand it. It's, it works but it's weird, it's really weird. Um, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. What is the operator? Um, our operator. Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, if you have, um, <coughs> for example, you have the four plus four. This is the operator, and you can add the operator to other classes. Normally, they are defined on numbers. So if you have a, let's go into that. Um, there is the num. It's the abstract, or it's the class before the int, so if you have an int, you can see it's also a num, so let's go into the num, and there is the, yeah, that's the <coughs> operator, so you cannot see the implementation, yeah, but that's the operator, yeah. Can you only write extensions for infix operators? Or also for prefix and postfix? Um, what do you mean with uh, suffix? Uh, Could you have some kind of an extension yeah. that 
um, for a whatever your type makes it possible to write type plus or type plus plus. Ah, you mean ah. Good question. Does anyone? No, I, I I think not. But maybe there is someone who knows it better. What was the question? Can you also write uh, infix <coughs> operators in extension as extension not functions? Not at all. No. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. There are also some cool um, functions that we are using because there are. I'm also a Kotlin developer, and there are some cool um, functions on the on the list, and I'm missing that in Dart, but we are have extensions for that, and it's fine. We have, for example, first or null or filter not null, so it removes <coughs> the yeah the null values. Um, we also use um, map extensions for maps. Oops. For example, the where or map to list. But you have to be careful because you can you could um, yeah. you could create um, functions that are already defined and the Dart compiler cannot well, wait, I will show it to you. <coughs> but then it should just replace it. What? Or no? Then it should just replace it if you define. Nah, it's not like an override. <coughs> Sad story. <coughs> so let's go into the string, and there is, for example, the compare to. But if you're going to your main, It's like one, but we defined our extension function for um, that returns five. So please be careful to write extension functions on a existing method. The Dart compiler, there is no warning or something like that. So be careful <coughs> and yeah, choose your name that it's working. What happens if you, for example, for using extension functions, you need to import the class, right? So what if you try to import this class into the place that you use? I think it should use the compare to method that you use. <coughs> I think it's already imported because it's basic.dart. Mm -hmm. Oops. Basic.dart is already imported, but it's not using. So be careful. Yeah. A uh, question? Yeah. What's the scope of the extension? Like, I don't know, if you define it in... That's, I don't know, can you expand lib? I don't know if you <coughs> d define it in funny example dot dart. Is it gonna have scope in main? Dart? Ah, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, you can. Ah, good. <coughs> you can use it right there. So basically, it doesn't matter where you define it, you can use it everywhere, or what? Yeah, when it is public. As I already <coughs> told you, it, yeah, okay, that's the same file that's not that's not working, but if you uh, move this one to another class, and you import it, so basically, it's import-based scope. In Dart, your access modifiers are a bit different. Like, uh, I don't know your background. Okay, I will talk to you. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> so, like, um, in Dart, how you decide on access modifiers is basically what you. There's some concepts that we call libraries, 
for example, this lib folder is one of the libraries. And when it's public, it's public for each item in library. So normally, in library itself, without the extension of Anxious Domain, you should be able to reach anything. You have because only private and public in that matter. But if you are in the another library phase, in the another path, then you would be needing to import this. So that can find its way around and reach the DAO. But with extension functions, it works different. It works in the, in, different in the background. So you need to import it anyway. I don't know, like, if you're familiar with Kotlin's extension functions, but you can think the scenario similar to that. Yeah. So basically, the scope starts from where it is imported. Before it's imported, it's yeah. New. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Let's jump back in the presentation. Uh, one more question. Yeah. <coughs> you can only add uh, like methods, right? So there's no way to add fields. Um, so you could. Fields is a good question. Let's try it. You can. You can. Yeah. You can? Yeah, because the getters are actually fields. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So this is then different from what uh, Swift would do. <laughs> yeah. So how does it work? How does your compiler then know how much memory it needs for, for a... That is a discussion that we can make later on. I don't want to... <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, um, there was one last thing. I, I think it's funny. Um, there is... Um, there is a Medium article from a Google developer and I will show it to you. I think it's funny because it's not only for the community a nice to have these extension functions, it's also nice for the, for the Dart developer because there is one struggle in Dart. You can implement a normal class and it's like an interface. So it removes the body and it's only like the, the method itself and um, I think this article is it's really nice and it's released on the 5th November 2019 um, it's short so you can you can read it yeah it, I think it's a nice article and yeah this one yeah yeah he talked about you want to replace the catch arrow to a new one because it's without any type there is only a function for the catch arrow and it's without arrow, exception, stack trace, whatever. And um, if you want to change it to, for example, handle arrow with a function with types. So for example, the arrow and the stack trace, but he cannot say, mm, let's add them to the future because they are like 17.6 um, <coughs> classes that implement the future. Um, even the future itself has the implementation of the handle error. So there, there, there will be like yeah, 17.6 classes that, are, that will not compile. And yeah, that's an issue. Um, um, it's, like, it's like that. There is the handle uh, the on error and it's, it's like that on error. It's without any type, but he thought, okay, let's add, um, I don't know, handle arrow. Ah, already, there is it. Let's add handle arrow, and it's implemented. But there are some classes that implement the future, not extended. And it's not working because we should override each method, even if it has already a body. So it's yeah, it's also nice for the Dart community, of course, but it's also useful for the Google team that um, create the Dart code, the Dart framework, whatever. And yeah, read that article. I think it's nice. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs>